Hi everyone, in this video we will go through the basic of the ISO code editing. So let's do it. From the part manager we can double click on the main program where we can see our operation layout and we will choose as an example the operation line number two for post two which is Z12 X12 and we will go through the sequence of operation 4.1 where we have the zero workpiece calculation 4.2 where we have the rapid approach of the tool with the tool call of the geometry and then the one that is interesting us at the moment 4.3 where we have the icon of the pencil the pencil icon simply means that there is obviously nothing programmed into there so we will open it and edit this so i double click on it and it opens i can see here operation description by default we have machining so this allows us to put a brief description of what we are doing it can be useful sometimes so i select machining and i will replace it with a, a text that is more in relation with what i will be doing in this operation for example front turning so i just type front turning okay and then here where I have the pencil icon, I can replace it also with something that is more in relation. So I double click on it and I can see a choice of operation. I choose here the front turning, I double click on it and it automatically updates it. And now we can come to our ISO code editor. When I type uh, axis, automatically it will be identified with the operation by TBDECO. So for example, I will make a rapid traverse, so G1, G100, that stands for rapid traverse, and then I will move to a position of Z equal one millimeter. So I just type Z and TBDECO automatically edits the Z12 equal because we are in operation line two. So I type a one in front of that. And when I am done with my line, I can just hit enter and it will go to the next line, enter, next line. And then I will make a rapid approach to X0. So G1, G100, I type just the X letter and it updates automatically X12 equal. I go to zero enter and then I will make a work interpolation so G1 Z0 and I will put a feed of 0 0.05 millimeters per revolution I know it's millimeter per revolution because if you look down here I have all the model codes active in this box and I can see a G95, which means feed expressed in millimeter per revolution. Some useful information. And then I type my next line, G1, X, five, enter, and so on, G1, Z minus six, for example, and so on, G1, X, 10, for example, okay? And now, when I am done with uh, this simple line of uh, operation, if I want to save everything that I have written, I just click on the green V to validate. As if I click on here, it will ask me if I want to save or not what I have done. So this could be uh, useful if you have typed something that you don't like and you want to cancel everything. It will just exit without savings, but we want to save it. And so I will be clicking on this one. Before I do that, I just want to give you some information. For example, if I type any syntax error, let's say I type, I, I forgot to type the G1. So let's say in this line here, I cancel my G1 and I want to save it. As you will see, TBDECO will issue a message of alarm and it will say, for example, 
unknown command code, okay, and then please read the output window. Okay, I look down on my screen and I can see the output window and it says error one block with a syntax error and then it gives you a brief uh, description of where it could be and then which is very useful is the little uh, number here four between brackets it leads you to the line number where the error is so it says line number four so one two three four and there we go I look but before I have to click OK and then I come here I move to the front and I type my G1. I don't have to put the space. The editor will arrange it afterward. So if I want to save it now, I click on the green V and then it's saved. If I go over this icon, I will see in the bottom of my screen, once I remove the output, I will see front turning, the description that I typed in. And I'm good to go for this operation. So this is just uh, the basic of uh, how to manipulate TBDeco. I hope this has been useful for you and it will help you to program the Tornos Multi-Swiss more easily and more efficiently. See you in the next video.